Hello everyone and welcome back to Journey with Jenny. Today I'm taking you to the Summer Palace in the northwest of Beijing. Let's go. to enter the long corridor here at Summer Palace. So the long corridor is, just as the name suggests, is the longest corridor in any Chinese classical garden. And it's 728 meters long. It has over 14,000 paintings of landscapes, Chinese stories, birds, flowers, name it. They've painted it here. So yeah, check out the exquisite detail. here in Beijing. It's a Sunday morning, so Anna is slightly spitting, so I feel like there's less people around, but it's a great way to tour. Do you want to translate what lightly spitting <laughs> means for our non-British viewers? So lightly spitting means it's slightly raining, and uh, yeah, apologies for the non-British viewers. So behind me is the towering great stage here at the Summer Palace. And it's actually the, was the largest imperial uh, stage in China. And it's where the emperor and the empress would watch Peking performances. It's certainly grand. So on both sides of the stage, there are 10 chambers and apparently this is where the princes and the ministers would watch Beijing opera at the invitation of the empress. So basically, if you sat here, you're definitely a VIP in today's terms. Ooh, look what's over here. Hanfu. Oh. <laughs> oh, we can't go. like a symbol of Peking Opera, check these out. If you want to jazz up your uh, mask, you can wear one of these. <laughs> Very pretty.
things to do here at the Summer Palace is apparently to climb the hill to the Buddhist temple. So, let's go. Okay, final set of stairs. Till we get to the top. Oh. Hopefully, my view is worth this workout. Nearly there. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. And turn. Yeah. Wow. Spectacular. I must say. Okay, so just bought some tickets, 30 quai per person, and we're getting on the boat. Ooh. things you can do here at the Summer Palace is definitely get on one of the boat rides available here on the lake and it's just a fantastic way to get around the, uh, the, the entire area and it's about 30 quai per person and you can also rent one of the smaller boats and paddle yourself if you really wanted to and that's about 180 quai for an hour but this is definitely maybe one of my favorite things that you can do here at the Summer Palace. And just check out the views, it's fantastic. And the sun came out, woo! That is it, the end of our tour of the Summer Palace here in Beijing. I hope you enjoyed what you saw and learned a few facts along the way. I definitely enjoyed the boat ride and trying out the traditional wear and of course, all the panoramic views that are just amazing to have witnessed for a few times now. And yeah, I hope to see you again next time, only here on Journey with Journey. And of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and all of that as well. See you next time.